This conference will now be recorded. Good evening. My name is Paul Grisella. I'm the director of the Greater Raritan Workforce Development Board, which services Hunterdon and Somerset counties. Our main mission is to serve two different types but connected customers and employers who have jobs and need in, need employees and job seekers who may be unemployed or underemployed and looking for opportunity. The Greater Raritan Workforce Development Board is federally and state funded, and we offer a number of different programs for different constituencies within our two counties. In the past few years, we've tried to expand our services and have added different um, portals and features on our website, which is www.thegrwdb.org. Recently, we added a resume portal, which is powered by Horatian. Tonight, I'm very pleased to welcome one of the team members from the company, Alan Suthith. I should have practiced your name, last name, Alan, I apologize, who will spend some time explaining how to use the uh, platform and give some resume, just some general resume guidance. Alan, over to you. Thank you, Paul, for the introduction. Uh, good evening, everybody. It's an absolute pleasure uh, to be here. Uh, my name is Alan Suzuth, and I am the Customer Success Manager from Hyration. And uh, as you can see from the screen that I've shared, um, I will be going through the Hyration platform that we have deploy deployed for Greater Writer Workforce Development Board. So, uh, so I'm, first of all, thank you everybody for joining this uh, webinar. And uh, please feel free to kind of uh, ask any questions or uh, if you feel shy to ask questions, you can always use the chat box to ask me questions uh, while I take the demo. So, so without any further ado, I will start with my demo. Thank you. So, so as you can see on the screen, so to enter into the platform, um, you will have to type in uh, you can use any browser, uh, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, any browser of your choice, and type in grwdb.hyration.com. I will put that in the chat box as well uh, as I uh, keep taking the demo, so it will be easier for the uh, people in the meeting to kind of go check it out. Um, yeah, so when we uh, enter that uh, address onto the URL space over here. Um, this is the page you will see. So I have already saved my username and password. So if you don't have that, you can always go to the create an account option here. So when you click on that, you will be asked to type in a username, password and your zip code and um, you can select on the options like you can choose to subscribe to our news uh, regular newsletter and once you're done you can just click on submit and you're good to go so i'll just go ahead and click on login so okay so when you log in this is the dashboard the first thing that you will see uh, where you can create n number of resumes. So we basically don't have a cap on the number of resumes that you can create. And uh, you can create uh, resumes specific to specific job descriptions. Now, how to do that, I will talk about in a minute. So uh, on the top, you can see we have a resume builder, cover letter uh, builder, a LinkedIn reviewer, and the interview preparation uh, Tool. So these are the four uh, tools that I will be focusing on today. So, um, so first, I'll start with the link, uh, uh, resume builder. So on the top right, you can see an option uh, to create a new resume, or you can see that option here as well. So we'll just go ahead and click on that. Now, when you do that, you will have an option to select uh, the type of uh, design that you would want uh, that you like so you can see uh, we have single column designs and double column designs so 
basically the choice is up to you to select which type of design that you think would be beneficial for you i will go ahead and select a very basic uh design how about we go with basic two so when i just have to click on select template and you'll have two options now that you've selected a template you can either upload a resume that you have so if you already written your resume in uh, microsoft word or a pdf you can just click on upload resume and the content will be copied to the design that you just selected or you can actually create a resume from scratch which is what we're going to do now so just click on create a new resume and here again when you do that you'll have two options so the first one is you will have a blank template so you just selected the design and you're creating a new resume from scratch you'll have a blank template where you can just populate the content uh, with your information or this is something that we would recommend and something that is very special with high vision is we employ uh, class leading uh, content writers resume writers uh, who write resumes pre-written samples so that you can just go ahead into a platform select a uh, career that you uh, want to and uh, basically edit so we'll check that so click on use resume examples and uh, yeah so here we have a list of resumes that you can select from so how about we go with a very general um resume of general it so when i click on that you can see that we already have a very good resume following the best practices uh in the recruiting space that uh, the writers use to create a resume and the best part is each and every section in the resume is editable right from the name to each and every section from where you graduated the skills that you have the internships that you have even the volunteer experience that you have each and every aspect of the resume can be editable so let's say if my i can change it to my own name i will type in my name sorry yeah so like that you can change each and every aspect so now let's go ahead and check into all the features that we offer in the resume builder so on the top you have formatting options basically so where you can change the page size you can change the margins the line height so the line height is basically to increase or decrease the size of your resume so so depending on a single page resume or a double page resume that you want you can use the line height feature we offer a font changing feature so you can change the font of the headings only or the body so we have an option for you to change that so let's say i just want to change the font of the body only i can select another font and you can see only the font of the body changes so i can go back you have you can add another section let's say you have uh you want to add another section like you have some experience in sports you can just click on the add section button and click on uh, a data section or an internship that you want to add and uh, that section will appear and you can just type in uh the information and finally we have the date format where as you can see uh, this is the date format you can change them with just a button and it will um, you can basically change uh, based on your preference and before uh, not last but not the least we uh, offer a help tool where we have product videos and uh, FAQs to answer any questions that you might have in the resume and even video help and on the bottom right as you can see here we have a 24 7 chat functionality so if you have if you're stuck or if you want to um have any uh real person talk to you on how to guide you with the resume building you can use that function to uh chat with the real-time uh, uh customer success person so so these are the formatting uh section uh, formatting features now we come to the uh main um 
uh, intelligent features that we uh, the high vision platform offers the AI features as we call it so on the right hand side you can see that we have a pane which says the AI assistant the resume review and the job match feature so we'll start with the AI assistant so if you have uh, used Gmail uh, you might be familiar with the uh, uh, the, uh, the function a feature where when you're typing a sentence uh, the words actually show up to kind of they kind of recommend for you so the same way uh, is how the AI assistant works so let's uh, see that work in real time so let's say I'm adding a new point for my uh, internship experience I will start with say created a and you wait so yeah you, now you can see immediately uh, new words show up so with just the button of by clicking the tab button on your keyboard you can see that all the words show up automatically so that is a very uh, nice feature for you to have to type in sentences without actually typing them so the system actually uh, recommends words for you to fill it up so that is a feature that uh, we would really encourage you to kind of uh, play with when you actually do make your resumes. So the next one is the resume review feature. Now, before I uh, go to that, you may have noticed small bulb-like icons. So that is actually the tips and guides uh, option where if you click on these icons, you will get tips on how to uh, fill in that section. So for example, now I've clicked education here, you will see tips on how to uh, fill that column and how to, uh, what all to include. Let's say if I'm um, looking at the tips for the internships. So just click on the bulb icon and you can see the tips on how to uh, fill this uh, section of internships. And if you are uh, done with all the tips and tricks, you can always switch it off and they will go away. Now we'll come and uh, see the resume review feature. So just click on the feature. And as you can see, it's a 100% 100 out of 100 score. So you might be wondering how you got that score of 100. So, so basically we had experience of making hundreds, basically actually thousands of resumes for different uh, uh, people and also we've consulted with uh, recruiters from top organizations and uh, we created a set of guidelines with which we kind of created the score of 100. So um, when you see uh, that, um, so you can see that this 100 is divided into uh, 25%, 5%, 20%, 50%. Uh, it basically tells uh calculates or let's say uh, um um identifies specific sections in your resumes and scores uh your resume based on that so for example let us check the bullet level in your resume so you can see that there are a lot of green ticks and if i just click on that it will tell you what uh, is is a reason why uh, there are no mistakes. So let's say I change anything in this section on this um, sec, uh, bullet point. Let's say I remove the bold feature of this and do that here as well. Immediately in real time, it shows that there is some um, error with your uh, the point that you just typed and you can see the score immediately going down now if i try to do that um, back you can see the score immediately goes up or let's take another example of the point above if i click on the green uh, tick mark it shows uh, why it's it's a very good um, point now let's say if i take off this number 10 it immediately says looks like you haven't quantified your bullet and if i go to the top 
and how about I just take away the bold feature as well you can see that the score immediately drops down and if I go down a bit it shows me why I have to um, fix what I exactly have to fix in the point that I've uh, written so I can go back and enter a number let's say uh, antivirus programs at 50 workstations and immediately you can see uh, this is getting corrected and the score goes back to 100 so like that when you uh, upload your resume each section and each uh, bullet point will be analyzed by the resume and it will help you to kind of uh, correct your resume and at the same time we do also offer a skill level analysis so when you click on that it actually gives you recommendations on what all the skills that you can add in your resume so uh, you can see there are a set of key skills that are right uh, that is already populated in this resume so you can also see 10 key skills missing so you can uh, see uh, you can just copy and paste them over here uh, we also give suggestions for uh, the number of res uh, skills that you can have and also tells you the skills that are already found in the resume so that can that will help you know what all skills that you've already in the resume and what are skills that you would want to add in the resume so that is basically the resume review feature i really encourage uh, all of you to uh, use the tool uh, upload your resumes or just get to uh, use our pre written samples and uh, um, populate with your own information and you can see uh, the information the resume review uh, change in real time and help you make a good resume so so that is the resume review feature so we have a question from duke asking how many pages maximum should a resume have so uh, that's a very good question duke thank you for that so generally uh, if you're a recent college graduate or you have experience of less than five years we would encourage you to have a single page resume so if you have more than five years of experience then you can probably uh, make a two-page resume but typically we would encourage you to have a single page resume uh, since that would be the that is a standard norm uh, that we've seen uh, companies all across the world follow so to answer your question uh, there is no hard and fast rule for you to have just single page but we would recommend you to have a single page resume i hope that answers your question duke um yeah so yeah thank you duke appreciate it so okay so now we will go ahead and check on the job match feature so this is a tool that will be really helpful for uh, job seekers when they start applying for their uh, jobs so let's say they have finished um, making their resumes they got a good resume review score now they have we have an option to um, copy and paste the job description so let's since this is an IT resume I will go to I have already gone to LinkedIn and selected a data scientist um, job description for Facebook and uh, so the best part is the users or the people who are using the platform they just have to select the job description click on copy come back here and paste it in the description box here and click on analyze it takes a few seconds so what exactly is happening is this job description is being compared to this uh, resume and we give a score so as you can see it has uh, gotten a score of 39 which is not a bad score we would recommend you getting a score of 75 which basically means that if you have a score of 75 your resume has a higher chances of getting a shortlist so we just didn't stop there we actually uh, went a little bit further and tell you what are the critical skills that are missing for this specific job description. 
so for the this specific job description these are the skills that are missing uh, which you can add it into your resume if you uh, have those skills of course we would encourage you to add skills that you can uh, justify and quantify and you can really uh, speak for yourself that you have idea of these skills and it also we also give you an idea of what all skills that you already have in the resume resumes that are necessary for this job description so this will greatly help uh, uh, the users uh, fine-tune their resumes for specific job descriptions now as I said earlier uh, you can make unlimited number of resumes so you can uh, select job uh, uh, applications compare them and optimize your resume for different jobs and apply for them so that will greatly increase um, your uh, chances of getting a shortlist so those are the AI features. I will just close the pane. Um, now, once you've uh, once you're done with your resume uh, and uh, you are pretty happy with the score that you got, and you realize probably you didn't like the design, so we've thought of that as well. So on the left side, you can see a switch design option. So when I click on that, you can select from the design that you want so uh you can go with another design so you can see without going back and selecting a design all the content will be migrated to this new design and uh, you're good to go from there so and i can select another design and it's right there so i'll just go back to the pre the first design that we went and yeah so you can change from the designs that you want without actually going back and typing it from the start so that is a good to have feature for you now finally we also provide the option to download this resume in a pdf and a word format uh based on your convenience so uh so that is a feature that you will find really helpful so this is basically an overview of the resume builder. So notice it now when I go back, you can see that it is auto saved. So you don't have to worry about saving uh, your resume. So with each change you do, it'll uh, automatically be saved at what time. So you can um, change the view of the resumes that are being populated. So you can see we have a list view and the block view as well. You can rename the resume. Let's say IT resume and you can save it. Uh, you can even create a copy of that or edit in real time or even delete it if you don't want this resume anymore. So this is the resume builder. And uh, now any questions anybody uh, in this section that you want me to cover um i will leave the chat open and the forum open for a minute if you have any questions alan i was wondering um for the users who your current users how many different resumes do they sometimes uh use uh, uh or well i guess what i'm trying to get to and i'm sorry i'm not being clear um i know with when we talk to job seekers we encourage them to have targeted resumes but to have a resume that that can be somewhat easily updated or just tweaked in certain ways depending on what the job is that you're looking for um is that something it seems like this platform would be very helpful in doing that yes uh paul that's a nice uh, way to put it so what we normally recommend is uh we ask the users to first create a general resume that they would apply for anything basically so we would ask them to create a draft resume and uh once let's say uh they find five jobs that uh, they think they really uh think they are suited for we would recommend them to use that general resume uh, to kind of create, um, customize that general resume and tweak it to that job description using our 
job match feature that I just showed earlier and uh, they can make as I as I just said they can make unlimited resumes so for example let's say I I can create a copy of this and name it data scientist I can go here and select a data scientist job description and uh, do uh do the tweak uh basically do the changes uh for that specific job and i can save it so let's say instead of um, all of these key skills i uh let's say I, if i don't need a certain number of skills i can just delete them and keep it and this will automatically be saved so as you can see when i go back so you can hmm. see that resume is already available so what uh, so to answer the question for all the benefit of, of all the users we would encourage them to first create a general resume and then as they uh, see uh, get uh, see more job offers they can create a copy of that and uh, customize that resume to that specific job description great so so they can create unlimited number of uh, um, resumes uh, based on the jobs number of jobs that they're actually applying to perfect and i and i one thing i the other thing that i like about this a lot is that it encourages people to get very uh specific on their accomplishments and skills so it's it's so that is so important um because as you're going through the applicant tracking systems that many companies use right now if you're if you don't get some get, add some specifics you could not track very high in, in the systems. So I think this is a, a nice tool to that helps people understand how um, companies are hiring people today, the process that they're often using to hire people. Yeah, that's a good point actually, Paul. So speaking of the ATS system, the applicant tracking system, when I click on the create new resume, uh, all of these designs are optimized for the ATS software that companies use to kind of shortlist the resume. So any design uh, that uh, the users will select will definitely be uh, easily uh, passed through the ATS system since we have optimized all of them to kind of pass through that and uh, the users will have no problem in uh, having any difficulty or worry that if wonder if they're uh, resumes will get passed through the system, uh, the software that the companies use. So we've made sure all of the resumes are uh, class leading uh, and uh, perfect uh, for the and compliant with the software that companies use. Great, thank you. Yeah. So I will just go ahead and cover uh, uh, talk about the cover letter feature as well. So. Here again, it is quite similar to the resume builder, but it is uh, instead of the resumes here, we have cover letters. So just click on create a new cover letter. Again, you can select a design that you'd like. I will go ahead with this one. And again, you can select from uh, the job description that you want, or you can just go for a basic empty template so that you can write one yourself of course we have ai features built into that as well so i will just go ahead and select an it specialist since we had just created a general it profile so just click on that and you can see that we have already created um so the cover letter actually takes information from the resume that you already created so when you create an IT um, resume, so the information from that will be transferred to uh, this current letter. So it is uh, customized to the resume that you just created. So that way it's very helpful for you. Uh, and we've al also added the job match option here as well. So uh, you can um, customize the cover letter as well uh, to suit the job description. So even the job, uh, the cover letter will be optimized and will pass through the uh, ATS software without any hassle. 
So as you can see here, I can add more section. I can type, I can keep type, I add more points if I want or remove points and all of that. So, so basically you can just go ahead and make all the changes that you want and download it with the download option that we have here. So, and again, uh, on the top we have formatting features where you can change the font, the date format, the page size, etc. And of course we have the switch design option here as well, where you can change between designs and select the one that you actually uh, think is uh, suits you, suits you and your profile that you're applying to. So that is the cover letter feature. And now we will go ahead and check the LinkedIn review feature. So this is a new feature that we just brought in. So as you can see here, uh, when you put your mouse on the upload your profile PDF, you'll see a small video uh, snippet on how to download your LinkedIn profile in LinkedIn. I will show that as well. I will just go to my LinkedIn profile and click on the more option and you will see an option called save to PDF. So when you click on that, uh, this profile will be downloaded as a PDF onto your system. Now, when I go back to the LinkedIn review feature in the Hyration platform, I can just upload it. Now to save time, I have already uploaded my LinkedIn profile. So when I just click on that, you can see on the right hand side, this is the profile that is downloaded by LinkedIn, which I have just uploaded. And on the left side, you can see a scoring for my LinkedIn um, profile. So we have the URL, the header title. So we've made sure that each and every section of your LinkedIn profile is optimized. So let's start from the beginning. So if I scroll down, it tells me how to get the uh, your LinkedIn optimized your LinkedIn URL. We have tips. We even have given samples on how to do that and uh, additional information on how to actually optimize your uh, your LinkedIn URL. And uh, the same goes for the header title, uh, the location, the uh, the about feature, and everything. So when I select the header title when I scroll down it tells me uh, gives me samples and examples on how to optimize your LinkedIn profile with every um, uh, section of your profile so here it says 16 out of 20 and it tells me this uh, part of my profile is not optimized so I can scroll so I just have to click on that and it tells me why and what changes I have to do. It gives me examples on how to um, optimize and uh, how to populate my um, job description. And it tells me why uh, there's a mistake. It tells me that I have less than the recommended 30 words of uh, description. So, so you might be wondering why uh, we stress so much on optimizing a LinkedIn profile. The reason is uh, how Google uh, search engine works. So if your uh, LinkedIn profile is uh, optimized and uh, uh, you've populated all your sections uh, as per this uh, guide, what happens is let's say a recruiter actually Googles your name. If your LinkedIn profile is optimized, your profile actually shows up at the top and your online visibility increases which greatly helps give a really good first impression for the hiring managers. So, so that is the reason why we uh, really encourage all users uh, to have a, a LinkedIn profile and optimize it to the best that they can. So, so that is the LinkedIn review tool. And uh, I will go back and as I keep going back, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me um, and yeah, I'd be happy to answer them.
Thank you so much. The uh, one of the uh, one of the reasons I really like this uh, platform is that it does have this LinkedIn um, feature. We know and we encourage all of our anyone we work with in the career uh, workforce system that if um, you need to be active on uh, LinkedIn and also other social media appropriately, of course. But um, uh, I myself try to to post at least once or twice a day on LinkedIn um, and to just build your knowledge base. It's a great way, it's a great tool to uh, not only show what you can do, but then <clears throat> reach out to someone in a business that you are interested in and connect with them and become part of their network so that you can understand um, what kind of build a community, you know, rather than just networking at a, a business party or you know at a, a business event it's another way to connect with people it's also i think posting is a great way of showing your own knowledge base um, and what you think and feel about a particular subject that uh, is a pertinent to a job that you're trying to get that's so again this yeah, is why uh, i really like this platform that's Sorry. a very important point to raise, uh, Paul. No problem. Uh, uh, so LinkedIn is a tool that is uh, what, from what we've seen, that uh, almost every company posts their jobs there. Uh, it's a great networking tool, and uh, that greatly benefits uh, people who are searching for jobs for networking uh, to build the uh, users' networks. So it's a great tool, and we definitely encourage all the users to kind of go ahead and create a LinkedIn profile and uh, get that done as soon as possible yeah so the final feature that we're going to cover today is basically one of the favorite features that uh, and really something that we really enjoyed building is the interview preparation so with this tool what we've uh, done is we've consolidated all uh, types of interview questions so right now we have around 180 profiles and we keep adding more and more every day so as you scroll down you can see all of these um, different jobs where you can select uh, where, when you click on them you can you get interview questions for you to prepare on so for example let's say i am clicking on a data analyst profile So you can see uh, we already have 244 questions uh, for your users to kind of uh, uh, prepare on the type of questions that a data analyst would normally get. So let's say with the first question, which is a very pretty general question, what are your strengths? So on the right side, you can see we have divided the answer, the question into three sections. So we tell the uh, user what exactly does that question mean the overview of what uh, do the interviewer mean by that question what are your strengths and the next one is the interviewers expectations what is he or she expecting uh, from you as an interviewer uh, from that question and we also have a sample answer and the same way is for another question so this is uh, very uh, job specific since it's a data analyst uh, uh, the question is related to that so we have both technical questions as well as normal questions uh, which will greatly help the users actually prepare uh, for the interviews and kind of uh, get confident on how to uh, go ahead and ace that interview so for example let's check this uh, question about SQL which is kind of important for uh, the data analysts. So it tells you what exactly does that question mean? What are the expectations and uh, the points that the interviewer might be expecting from that question? And a sample answer with which they can know, or, uh, learn on how to frame an answer to, uh, to tell the uh, interviewer. So as you scroll down, we have 244 questions uh just for data analysts and when you go back to uh, other let's say uh, how finance manager uh we have 68 questions and specifically related to that sp uh, job description and the best part is we keep adding more and more every day so that uh soon we will have uh 
almost all the jobs descriptions that we can possibly find on so so that is basically uh, a whole walkthrough of the platform uh, i will just go back and uh, right now open the forum for any questions uh, any of you might have for any of the uh, tools and i'd be more than happy to answer them Great job, Alan. I did put in the uh, chat uh, the link to, uh, that you could use to get to the platform from the uh, grwdb.org website. Um, and, it, and you'll see it works just like Alan showed it. You just log in, uh, create, if you haven't logged in already, you create your uh, username and password. You can bookmark, once you're there, you can bookmark it and then just use it. And as Alan mentioned, we have this, uh, this is a free um, service of uh, available to the residents of Hunter and Somerset counties through the end of 2021, with the possibility that we'll extend uh, the vendor contract in 2022. Um, uh, one of the things that you can also do with this res with this resume, um, it, it is uh, use it as a tool uh, to. Uh, connect with our, our career counselors. Um, greater, the Greater Raritan One Stop Career Centers um, in Somerville and Flemington have counselors who uh, do a variety of different things, helping with people find jobs, uh, per connecting people to training opportunities, um, but they also simply will do something like, you know, talking with people, giving them information, doing a review of a resume. So one of the one of the tool, things that we like about this um, uh, this portal, this platform, is that it gives you, the job seeker, a better product, end product, so that you can have a, an even a better conversation with one of our career counselors. Um, and really, you know, kind of hone in on what you're trying to, to do. Um, you don't have to talk with our career counselors, but we want to make sure that you're also aware of that as another part of the services that come through the workforce system in uh, not only in our two counties, but around the, around the country. Did you have any other questions, Ms. Yellowduke? It doesn't appear so, Alan. Uh, did you have anything else you wanted to say? Or, um, you know, we had it from seven to eight, so I think that was, you know, just a little bit early, but never hurts to be uh, a little early either. Yeah, that's that is true. Uh, I am actually leaving my email uh, in the chat box, so uh, if you have any doubts or if you want to clear uh, something uh, that you want me to give you a demo again, I would be more than happy to. So I will. Uh, Put that in the chat description. Thank you, Alan. And to answer your question, there are no uh, there are no fees for any of our services, um, including this platform. This is free, um, and all the all the career services uh, through our One Stop Career Center um, and through the Workforce Board are uh, free. We are federally and state funded, and uh, we have a host of services that we think we can help you with. And if you do need more information, or want to set, um, set up an appointment, um, I am putting in the chat box the uh, email address for the One Stop Career Training Center. Uh, you can also find that um, that they're on our website, uh, www.thegrwdb.org. Under the Resources Job Seekers tab, there is a uh, contact box that um, that you can fill out for whatever help you may need and uh, you'll be able to you'll hear back from the one stop career center that way as well but again all of there are no fees for any of our services from the workforce system okay yeah so with that i will uh, uh stop sharing my screen uh uh fall so but i will be in the meeting to answer any questions that uh our uh, members may have thank you at this point i'm just going to i'll stop the recording and i just uh thank you for the excellent presentation
to see, and we can see if our uh, if our uh, attendee has any questions.